Hi guys, it's Senma and I'm coming at you with another unboxing. It is ColourPop. It's my first ColourPop order and I'm pretty excited. It comes in this little box, um, made in LA. Those are two swatches I did from a Wet n Wild unboxing that I did, which may be up before this or after this, I'm not sure which one. I got this a month and a half almost ago and my mom, when she put it away, she put it where my makeup caddy is, but on another shelf, and I didn't even see it because it looks like the box, my pump, my when I have to carry my extra pump with me to go out, looks like, so I just thought it was that box, but uh, I was wrong. So here it is, finally gonna unbox it. So it has priority three day mail. I've never ordered from ColourPop before, but I hear they're a good company. And like I said, my last, my other video with the wet and wild, I have no idea where my scissors are. The cat's not come off into the nether. So I'm using my PO box key to cut the tape. So, or it's actually already been popped. So hopefully all my stuff's in here. I didn't do that. So I'm gonna put my keys back in here real quick. I always keep them in my pouch. That way, since my pouch stays with me 24/7, if I happen to go by the post office or ride by it, I can stop anytime and get, check my PO box and get all the spam out of it. But um, yeah. Let's see. I ordered. I know I ordered some eyeshadows. I can't remember what else I ordered, but it wasn't a lot. I had a bunch of stuff. Oh wow, that's a bold box. I like the box. I like it when companies put effort into their packaging. It just, like Lime Crime, their boxes are gorgeous. And I had the one that I got the Diamond Crushers bundle in, but somebody, I'm gonna ask you Jelly Bean decided to chew it up because I was gonna reverse it and put it inside out and see if I could reuse it, but I couldn't. So anyway, I hate the texture of this foam. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that feeling. Okay. okay so, that's so, oh, I got a lot. I got more than what I thought I got. So that's all. I got so much is falling out. So, I don't like this foam crap. It's like emery boards. If I ever, when I, like, excuse me. Whenever I go to get my nails done, when they do the emery board part, <sighs> excuse me, again, I just have some Dr. Pepper or Dr. Pepper Cherry. And it's not, it's, it's agreeing with me, but it's fine. <laughs> so, but um, when I get my nails done, the part when they, Sand your nails to the army board. Oh, I can't stand that part. It just makes chills go down my back. I don't, and not the good kind of chills. So let me see if I can get this foam out. Which I mean, that's good for them to package it like this because I've had heard and seen a lot of people getting their um, like eyeshadows or whatnot in and they're cracked or broken. So that's a nice and expensive way to help ensure that they won't be smashed. I'm making sure all mine, all mine seem to have arrived and safely. Yeah, none of mine are broken or smashed or crushed or anything like that. So got this little postcard. Mom spelled upside down as wow, XOXO color pop. Somebody hand wrote this. You can tell with the, like you can see like where the heart is. There's a little bit darker on the inside of where they colored it. Wow. That's, that's nice. They could have just mass produced those. And, Okay, 
So check our F I have. <laughs> I have 15 total items. It does not tell me how much they were. I think the eyeshadows were on sale, like three for 10, I don't remember. I will try to link what I got below in the description. If it's still available, so. Wow, I'm gonna need a lot of swatching space. Ultramat Dr. M, okay. Here's Dr. M, but I thought Dr. M was um green. Why is it got a yellow or a red? Rambling. Okay. So these are the lip ones that I got. I got two metallics, one matte, one ultra glossy, and one of the lippy sticks. The metallic I got flitter and treat wave. The ultra matte I got Dr. M, which I think is a green. I don't know why it's like coral looking, but I'm pretty sure it's a green color. Because I had to watch a few YouTube um, reviews because I was on the fence about getting it. So, this ultra glossy lip is in hack. I really like the packaging. This was the Amanda Steele in ColourPop collaboration as well. I don't know who Amanda Steele is. So you guys can educate me in the comments below. And then the lippy sticks is in wet and it's pearlized. So I have also got two super super shock cheeks. I'm going to screw up so bad. Did you not give me the colors on the outside? Let's see. They're highlighters. One's Hippo and one's Monster. So, I don't know which one's which. I would assume this one's Hippo because it's more like a grayish purple color. I don't know, maybe, or well, maybe that one's Monster. It says, May in the City of Angels. Keep the magic in closed drawer type yet yeah, for use. Looks like it's they're cruelty free, they have a little bunny on them. Are these cruelty free? Yes. Yeah, all these seem to be cruelty free. Yep. Yep. Cruelty free. So if you're worried about that, you're safe with ColourPop. And the Amanda Steele ones. My such a nice. What do you want, Kegar? One. I don't have room for you in my lap, baby. Let's see. These. I don't know why they don't have the colors on the outside of the box. Let's see. Mm. And they don't tell me which one's which up here. Like it doesn't say like on this little packing slip the ones that are Amanda Steel color or um, collabs. So I'll have to when I swatch these tell you what color they are. Um, these are the three Amanda Steel ones I got, and all of them are shimmers. I'm just warning you because I am a shimmer whore. Jelly Bean, you okay? There is a um, frog on the window out there and she's trying to get it and she keeps getting her claws stuck in the room of the window. And there's the second one and the third one. See the Dr. M lip color is supposed to be like that color. The kittens are teething and you're chewing on the corners of the box, which is fine. It's not gonna hurt them. So, okay. I'm making sure Jelly Bean doesn't get her claws stuck. And then the other colors I got 
Like I said, they're all shimmer. This one. This one looks like a black with purple glitter in it. Pretty purple one. Which a lot of these are kind of similar to the Moon Dust palette that I have from Urban Decay. I think it is. But they're so much cheaper. So. I think what they're five bucks or something. And most some of these, like a lot of this stuff I got, like I said, on clearance or last chance or whatever they call it. So but I can't tell you the price. Like I said, this is just a packing slip. But it doesn't show like prices. It just tells me what I got. So, so nice clean fingers, except for this one, got a boo-boo. Jelly Bean was playing with me and she called me by accident and her call got stuck right in the like very center of my finger. So, okay, I was right. The purplish colored one is Hippo and the lighter colored one is Monster. So, Hippo, okay, they're both 17E1. Both pearlized. They are 4.2 grams a piece. And, okay, they are cruelty free. So, that's what they look like, side by side, again. And see how this one, I haven't opened it yet, but see there's an indention in there, like, somebody already swatched it. Which is fine, but it's supposed to be brand new. Because I don't know if ColourPop has, like, actual stores. It's kind of weird. But that's the only, like, flaw with it. So far. Okay. Wow. See, see where the indention where it's been swatched. And like I said, this is my first time even looking at these, so I don't know how or where that came from. I don't know if it's worth calling customer service about because everything is intact. But that's just. Did they send me one that was returned, maybe? And. I don't know. Because you can see this one's perfectly flat. So. Anyway. Let's do monster first. I'm going to swatch it. In this hand. I'm just going to. Ooh. Wow. That's like cream. I'm barely pressing down. Let me press just a little bit harder. That's what that looks like. Put it right here. Ooh, that is smooth like butter. I don't know if it'll pick up. I'm gonna do one more. Room. There, you can kind of see it a little right there. not very bright but it's there it's a nice um, subdued highlighter if you want something more natural looking so and let's check this monster out the monster is purpley a couple of run-throughs Put it right next to it. See, you barely see it. It's like I see all these people, and it's like, I mean, I can see it on my hand if I look at it, but it won't pick up on the camera very well. There, there's a shine from it. So, if you're looking for a more like laid back highlighter, Definitely, these would work. And they have a nice texture, like a creamy texture, and they feel like they would be very buildable. So, 
or they would look good on like another highlighter. So I have seen people use highlighters that way. To clean my fingers off. And it barely shows up on the alcohol wipe, so. Alright, so this blue teal one is called Hydroplane. These are 2.1 grams ultra glitter. And there's the back. I don't like you can see it because it's in reverse. And I don't know how to change that on this until I actually like edit the video and flip it. And this like peachy color, I don't have a color like this, is called Steel, which that does not make sense because it's pink. I think Steel would be like a gunmetal color, but okay. And this purple one with is called Ignition. So let's see what those look like. Alright. So we'll go with the purple one, or actually I'm going to go light to darkest. So I'm going to go with steel, which, let's see, this one doesn't look, these are all fine. They don't look like they've been swatched already. That's very creamy. See, it looks like a pearly color. Uh, one more time with it. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if it's going to show up that well. There it is. It's like a rose gold color. It's a very pale rose gold color when you actually put it on. It's really pretty. It's really, it's really pretty and then like the camera won't pick it up and do it justice. So, Alright, the next one is the Ignition. Is that purple? a few times with that. This one doesn't feel quite as creamy. It goes on smooth. I'm going to do one more little gentle pressing. I'm not pressing down that hard because I don't want to like, do false advertising. Oh, that one you can actually see show up. Like this one, all you can see, unless I get in the light, is the reflection. It's the glitter. That one's really pretty. It's like, it's not a wall, it's a, a pinkish lavender. It's not like all the way purple, it's like a very light magenta color. And the last one is Hydroplane. I was really excited to get this one and the other teal green looking one. Clean finger. Whoa. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Do one more. So this is it looks more blue in the little pan, but it comes off more like a green, like it has more of a green shift to it when you actually put it on your skin. But you can definitely see all the glitter and all, or at least those two. Like this one, you can barely see. Which I guess would be a good transition color if you want like a iridescent look underneath. So anyway, there's are those three. closer. Look at all the glitter. You can kind of see it a little bit right there. There. I'm super excited to try these on my eyes and see how they feel. 
like wearing them, see if they crease or anything. Because like I said, they're very creamy feeling, so I'm wondering if they're going to crease up really bad. I do not like when packaging does this. They put one color down here, and then it's actually a completely different color. Like this is like a bronzy gold color. It just throws you off. So, I'm going to throw that packaging away. I'm waiting for the cats to finish crossing. Come on, Tara. Come on, my boy. Say hi, you two. Oh, thank you. You want to stay there? You can sit there if you want. Alright, so. Colourpop lippy sticks. I'm guessing that's just their little catchy way of saying it. Lipstick? Oh god, I thought I broke it. Alright, there's what the, the tube looks like. And then you actually bring it up. Actually, I do have scissors washing my hand. I'll swatch it up here first. Oh, wow. That's a different color. Very bronzy gold. And it's pretty pigmented too. Alright, everybody move. Keep going. Alright, let's see what it looks like on the lips. It is very creamy, like a MAC lipstick. And it has that cookies and cream Hershey bar flavor too, just like the MAC lipstick. Uh, and it reminds me a lot of Silver Spoon, which is my favorite color MAC lipstick. This is a good, very, very close dupe to it. Almost, I would say identical to that. So if you don't want to pay $22. This one was actually on clearance. Um, wet and, and pearlized makes a difference, but it's very pretty. And there's a swatch on my hand. And it's dark, but it's not like too dark, so, or too bold to wear. So let me wipe this off. when I get wear a silver spoon because I always want one of those Hershey's cookies and cream bars afterwards then I have bought like six of the little five packs because they were like a dollar at the Dollar General but they're gone it hurts okay I got off as much as I can What I'm going to do is the Amanda Steele ColourPop collaboration and hack. It's ultra glossy. Oh, look at the pretty roses. I wonder if they're going to be on the packaging. Oh, wow. It's pretty. Jesus. This camera isn't going to do it justice. It's like a very light coral with gold glitter. Nice packaging. I really dig this crisscross pattern. So, let me see. Okay, regular doe foot applicator, very nice. Now let's still watch it next to this bronze. Okay, this was a gloss, right? 
Okay, yeah. Definitely is a gloss. You can tell it's very um, not opaque. I don't know what the word is for it. So let me do your lips. smell to it at all and there's no real taste but it's just it matches my actual lip color really well just a lot of glitter and gloss obviously so yeah very pretty there's a swatch and there's my face this feels really good on my lips especially after wiping them off with the napkin Instead of like a makeup wipe or something moisturizing, I'm just gonna let it sit there for a second. Mmm, I feel good. Okay. Oh, I left a little kissy kissy. So it does have some pigment. Glitter's getting on the side of my face, like right here. Okay. There's a little bit of glitter on like this part of my mouth, like right here, but I don't think that's gonna affect the other colors. That one I'm gonna do last because I think that one is a dark color. Alright, I'm gonna do the metallic one. Ultra metallic lip. just about the same. Oh, these are probably more opaque though. So. Alright. This one is Treat Wave and it's a pale rose gold color. It's very, very similar to this. Like both of these are to this color, but this is supposed to be opaque. More opaque. It's very rose gold. A lot of gold in it. And this one has a little bit more of a pink Color. They look very similar, but this one's called Flitter. But if you get this in a certain light, like if you darken, like you get in the shadow, you can see more pink to it. And this one, it's just gold and coppery looking. So I'll do the coppery one first. Treat Wave. I'll put that next to lip gloss. Wow, that is. This is like a. Oh, the video's not doing it justice. It's a very opaque copper color. Like, I know Chloe Kardashian released a collaboration with Kylie, and she had one called Sugar Plum. This one is a very close dupe to that, I think. In my humble opinion. Let's see. I'm gonna swatch the other one right next to it first before I put them on my lips. Flitter. Okay, let's see. Okay. Flitter's a bit the bigger swatch. Oh wow, flitter's actually darker than treat wave. There's Flitter, and there's Treat Wave, and then there's the lip gloss and the lippy stick. Wow, I didn't think, I wasn't expecting it to be darker, so I'm gonna do the other one on my lips first. Oh.
this one's funny. I can see where when I put my lips together, it went over the line of my lips. Okay. So, and I don't use lip blender, so. There's that one. And this one is Treat Wave. So, I don't know why I was doing that face. It is pretty light. It felt almost like a mousse type texture to it. I don't know if these dry down. They don't say if they do. It's really pretty. If you're looking for a nice coppery rose gold color, definitely pick this one up. It's really pretty. And I bet those with like a darker skin complexion, it would look, these two would be amazing on. Quite stubborn. Okay. This is not gonna taste very good, but I'm gonna get an alcohol wipe and get it off my lips. Not a wise idea to use alcohol wipe to get it off my lips. Other than just tasting bad, it burns like the dickens. But that's as good as I can get it off. It's a little shimmery still, but this one's gonna cover that, so. This formula is really good. It's very smooth and creamy. It's not streaky. So check off. And you only need one coat to get the pigmentation that you need. Can you sit down, buddy? Hi, you. Hi, you. Mm. See if I over. And I think they did come, or they do have matching lip liners, but I just don't do that, so. Oh, I forgot to keep it up so I could. That's that one. Even though it's much, it was darker here, it's almost brighter on the lips, so. These are both really pretty colors. What do you think, Tickle? Huh? What do you think, big boy? I'm gonna kiss you. And they are kind of a pain to get off, so they're going to, they're pretty, I would say they're probably long lasting or decently long lasting. And they don't feel like they'd be the type to where if you go to reapply it, it would just like pile up and make like weird layers. Like the Katy Cat matte lipsticks. Those you might as well wipe them all off and then just reapply it all together instead of just applying a coat over top of what you're wearing because it like peels up and it just looks gross. Yeah, these are trying down, but they're not like super sticky. They're not like drying at all. They're they're very comfortable. But yeah, those two colors are very similar. So, so this one's a lot brighter looking when it's applied to the lips.
I'm gonna have to definitely invest in some makeup wipes. Usually I would use like, I use baby wipes for most of my makeup remover. Like for sensitive skin, but. Oh. I ran out and I have been out to the store, so. And this one's Ultra Matte Lipstick. This one, like I said, that's supposed to be, yeah, there we go. A teal color. Now I watched about three videos on different people reviewing this. A lot of people love the color, but I think two out of the three said that it cracks and it flakes off once it dries down. So, uh, I don't know. We'll see. I would assume if you want, like, if you didn't mind losing the matte look, if you put like a lip gloss on top of it, maybe it would help. So, let me swatch it on the hand. This is called Dr. M. Maybe for Dr. Moreau. Wow, that's really dark. This is the darkest color I own. And it's a really dark greenish teal. Maybe our girl would probably like this color. I don't think it's a scent. There's a little bit of a scent, but it smells just like lips, like the chemicals or whatever they used to make the materials they used to make the lipstick. Okay. Whew. And if you've got yellow teeth like I do, it probably will make them look more yellow like black does, but oh gosh. I'm scared. Already noticing it is drying down really fast. So it's like if you accidentally put too much on. And you're trying to like move it around, it's not gonna work. That is a really bad application of it because I got it like really too high right here. But wow. Oh yay, it's on my teeth a little bit. Let's see if I can clean up that outside line. Like I said, I got too high right here, but I'm not going to worry about that because it's just a test run. I can see where they t say that it flakes off because there are, you probably can't see them, but there are little flakes on my teeth. Not a whole lot, but they're there. It's already dried down, so. It doesn't really come off. That's from the really dark eyeshadows I was swatching earlier. But if you like smile, or like are very expressive, it would probably flake off a lot quicker. So I would definitely make sure you keep it with you to reapply. But it's a really pretty color. I really like it. It's weird because I'm, I'm doing like that. Ooh. If you 
do that, that rubs it off. I feel like the belt flaking off. It's like very gritty. Oh, it does not taste good. So, this one is an incredible color. But if you, like I said, are very smiley, or very expressive with your mouth, or if you rub your lips together a lot, it will rub off and flake off. You can see it flaking down there. I mean, if they reformulated this and made it like a liquid lip, just a regular liquid lipstick, I think it would be a lot better. But I am going to keep it and use it and maybe try, because I don't care about the matte look. I just like the color. So maybe I'm going to try with the lip gloss to see if maybe that'll protect it some. Okay, so like I said, the formula isn't the best on this one, but it is a very, very pretty color. If I can find like a dupe for it in another brand maybe that doesn't flake off, if you guys know of one, let me know because I really like the color, but this formula is shit. And it stains your lips, and if you happen to like wipe your mouth, try to get it off, it'll stain around your mouth, so... Yeah, I'm going to put that lip gloss back on so my lips can feel better because they're sore now. It's just lip gloss. Yes. So I can get some more moisture back into them. So. Anyway, there are the swatches again, and I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I'm very really, like kind of cringy when it comes to makeup reviewing because I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just trying to take like different aspects of what I've seen people do and kind of combine it and make my own style video. But anyway, my poor lips. I want to get a lip scrub or something. They're sore now. Poor babies. But you can still see they're like blue. So. I've only had them turn that color once when I took too many Ambien to do something. No, it was Lunesta. I took the whole bottle. My lips turned blue. And, but I will see you in the next video, which is not this one, because this one is over. I just totally stole that one from Pixie Box. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Say bye, Chekhov! Bye guys. Mwah.